Miami is a beautiful city, but it is expensive. Um, the average rent here in downtown, so as you guys can see, I do live here in the middle of downtown. It is pretty expensive. So here in downtown, the average rent is around 2,300. Um, my rent right now is 2,150, but it is actually increasing to 23 something. And I'm not gonna lie, I have had my difficulties living here. Food here is pretty overpriced. Even if you're just trying to go out with the boys, you know, just going out for one night is like spending half your paycheck. So, you know, living here in Miami, you know, especially like I said, here in downtown, it's not easy. But I have found ways to make it work for myself. And I wanted to give you guys kind of the things that I do to be able to live in arguably one of the most expensive cities here in the USA. So, so without further ado, let's get into the video. Here you are in my apartment. Um, so I do want to mention that I do live in a luxury apartment here in downtown. So I do live here on the 45th floor. And you're probably wondering, Ty, how do you afford to live in downtown Miami on the 45th floor with an amazing view? I mean, literally right behind me is the balcony. Because, you know, you see online that people live these, you know, extraordinary lives and it looks impossible. A lot of people waste their money on things they don't need. Stuff like, you know, extra clothes, you know, or a brand new gaming set. But the truth is, if you are able to hold your urges back and just don't spend your money and you're able to smartly spend it, you're able to live a pretty good life without living that bad, honestly. So number one, I wanna start off with my apartment, give you guys a little tour just to show you where I live and how I live, I guess. So let's start with that. So number one, obviously this is gonna be the living room. So I do live in a one bedroom. So that's gonna be number one. Try to find friends or somebody to roommate with. Now, this is probably only gonna work when you're younger, so I am only 22 years old, so right now, I'm in a position where I don't technically care if I live on my own or with other people. So, so the fact that we do live in a one bedroom, as you can see, I do sleep here, right? Well, I don't know why air quotes. I sleep here, right? I also keep this little buddy right here to you know remind me every day to keep following my dreams because people, let me tell you one thing, keep your goals in check, you know? You never wanna like lose those because if you do, Life is, I can't imagine life without my dreams and go, oh my God. But yeah, right? My roommate's room, we're gonna just peek, boom, that's it. This is not gonna be one of those videos where I just say, guys, go budget, you know, save everything, which granted is important. You do need the budget and you do need to save. But no, this is not gonna be one of those videos where I just say budget because of course, obviously, that is the most like obvious answer, like budget. But no, in this video, I wanna give you guys some actual like real life experience of like things that I've done and you know, little things that you just won't hear unless you know, you've personally gone through it or heard somebody else story that has personally gone through it. So officer, please, God darn, there's always sirens. So if you don't want a roommate, I completely understand. But if you don't, my second piece of advice would be to stop Ubering. More specifically, Uber Eats. Uber Eats is a complete waste of money. I'm not gonna lie to you, if I check my, so I've deleted the app, thankfully. I finally just got rid, rid of that, that fucking app. Oh my God. I think I well, spent well over $2,000, like easily. Food is one of the major wastes of money. So, you know, if you are able to only eat once or twice per day, you're good. And especially if you can get to the point where you, you cook. Now, I'm gonna admit right here, I don't cook. You know, if you look at my kitchen, I'm not gonna lie, it's never been touched, you know. There's a spoon in the sink because I use it to eat because I don't have any utensils, but it's been sitting there since I don't know how long. It's been a couple months. I don't cook. Partying and girls. So Miami does have a little reputation for being a party city. And I'm here to announce that, you know, it's true. It's very true. You know, Miami is 90% party and 10% depression. It would be one thing if we were somewhere else, but Miami is a pretty shallow city. So just going out, even if you're going out with the boys, you know, just no girls, you're not trying to pick nobody up, you're just going out with the boys trying to have a good time. You know, drinks, food, you know, every little thing they're trying to tip you on costs a lot of money, especially here in Miami. So I just don't recommend partying. You know, I know that might, you know, shock a lot of people, like, oh my God, what do I do? 
there's a lot more to life than partying. I'm gonna admit, I don't even enjoy partying, so this is gonna be a lot easier for me, but for the ones that enjoy partying, you're a party animal, bro, trust me, there's a lot more to life. You know, I have had my fair share of parties, I went out, mingled, did my thing, and you know, I don't get it. You know, for me, it's, it's not, I don't understand it. I don't want, I don't see how people, I don't see how people in Miami do this every single day. Guys, people go to party every single day. Like, bro, that was, okay, so this is gonna like transition to like a little story time. Little, little story time. So when I used to work my last job and I had to be up at 4 a.m. in the morning, when I would go to work at 4 a.m., I would see people walking in the street in full clothes, the girls in like dresses, like the, the tightest dress, and it's like sometimes it's freezing cold, sometimes it's raining, and they're just walking at 4 a.m. in the morning. I'm like, yo, what, do you people not li like sleep? Like, what are y'all doing? They're, I don't get it. I don't know. That's Miami, though. And, you know, like I said, I don't recommend it because it is really expensive. Um, I remember I went out one night and I accidentally spent like 400 bucks. And I only got like two drinks and like some, I don't know, like a grilled chicken sandwich. Like, I don't even know how I spent that much. It don't make any sense. Save your money. I know I said I wasn't going to mention budgeting because I didn't want this to be, oh, budget video, but I have to put it in the video because let's be honest with you budgeting is pretty important so for me not to put in a video would be you doing you guys a disservice so so the way i budget i get all of my bills phone bill electricity water lights internet whatever whatever car note whatever you got add up all your bills and then subtract it by your total income for the month and then you'll see how much money you have left over you can use to spend now that extra income yes you know you got your bills paid that's extra income but this is where you should start saving it, put a little bit away just in case something happens, right? Or use it to put it into investments. Don't just have the money there and then spend it on shoes or some movie or something that you can't get back. Again, not saying you can't go out and have fun. You know, if you've been working and you wanna to go to the movie theater with your boys or your girl or something, bro, I'm not, saying, I'm not saying you can't go. Go to the movies, right? Enjoy your night. But if this is your last dime, bro, save your money. Where are you going? You can you can wait till the movie movie comes online for free on Dope Box, my guy. I'm not saying to do it because you know, but there are free websites. So of course, every check you get, you know, whatever job you have, you have a traditional job or if you have an untraditional job, save a little bit from each check. Put at least twenty five or fifty dollars a month into a savings account and have it build up because you never know when you're gonna need it. Because I got in a little situation where I got fired for some stuff, blah blah blah, and I didn't have any money saved up because. Me being stupid, I thought I was gonna better keep my job because I'm the manager there and I work really hard and they care about me. I wasn't prepared, got fired, and you know, I, for a month, didn't have any money. I had to, you know, ask my parents. I was really going through it and I couldn't, you know, that was nothing I could do. And to feel powerless is not a good feeling. You know, to wake up and not know what's gonna happen next or are you gonna be okay or can you eat, it's not a good feeling. And I guess I should mention for transportation, so, I used to have a car. It's a funny story to that, you know, it's not here anymore, you know, it's gone. But I used to have a car and I didn't have a car note. But now I ride my one wheel. So if you guys been watching the channel, you would know my one wheel. This right here is my baby. Oh, wait, wait, wait. So this right here is my one wheel. I take this little baby everywhere. Luckily, you know, living in downtown, Pretty much everything I need is right around the corner. So I do use the My One Wheel, which is electric, and you know, I don't have to pay for gas, there's no car note. I'm able to save a lot more money than the average person because a lot of people have a car that they either can't afford or they're barely making payments. Now, obviously, I do know that having a One Wheel is not gonna work if you're living in a, you know, smaller state, you know, where things are like miles away. So obviously you're gonna need a car, but if you do get a car, Please get a used car. Don't fall into the notion where you need a brand new car to show off to the boys or try to get that girl. None of that matters, especially if you're in your 20s. If you're anywhere in your 20s, I don't give a fuck if you're 29. Don't, bro, none of that matters. Save your money and then build yourself as a man because you only have one life. I say a lot, you only have one life. You only get one shot of your 20s. Are you gonna waste it, you know, trying to impress everybody? And then by the end of it, you have impressed nobody and now you have nothing to show for. No, don't do that. And then one last thing, don't spend the money you don't have. So this is gonna kind of tie onto my next, you know, point, which is number five, build your credit. Having a credit card is not a get rich free card. You know, you don't get to just swipe because, you know, it's just my money. It's not your money, it's the bank's money. They're loaning it to you, you must pay that back. And if you don't, 
You're gonna have to give them a little bit extra. And that's no fun. Giving your money to them for nothing. That's not fun. Having interest and all of that, no fun. So if you do get a credit card, understand, if you don't have it in your bank account, don't put it out because I'm telling you, you're gonna end up like a lot of people, like most Americans, where you're gonna be so far in credit card debt, 10,000 plus, where it takes you 40 plus years to get out of the debt. I mean, have you seen the commercials? Get out of credit card debt. This, this credit card debt, you'll be in debt for 20 years and you're gonna be paying $200 a month for the rest of your life. I, I, I don't want that life. And I'm pretty sure you don't either. So if you don't have it in your bank, or you don't have your savings, or you don't foreseeably see you get that money soon, do not swipe the credit card on anything. Let me tell you one thing about credit that the schools and stuff don't tell you. If you don't have a good credit, guess what you can't have? You can't buy a car, you can't get an apartment, you're not gonna get most loans, you're not gonna be able to buy a house. I don't know where you're gonna live or where you're gonna go, you know, but good luck. You know, no apartment is gonna take you, especially here in Miami. If you go into Miami with a sub 500, fuck, Sub 700 credit score, 600, 500 for God forbid. They're probably gonna just laugh at you. Like, bro, are you serious? Are you serious? Come on. There's multi-millionaires across the block and you're coming here with a 500 credit score. Sir, go leave. And then last but not least, pay off all your debts. I am gonna mention here that I do have some debts. Um, I do have, you know, of course, a little bit of credit card debt and I do have student loans that I still have to pay off. And you know, that's not fun. You know, I did drop, drop out of college, you guys don't know. Um, the only reason I went to college is because I just didn't know what I wanted to do and pretty much everybody else was going to college. So I decided that, well, if I don't know what I'm doing, I might as well go to college, which was so stupid because if, if I don't know what I'm doing, why would I go into something that's gonna tax me the rest of my life? It didn't make sense. Fuck, the system is messed up. Living in stress, constantly thinking, okay, I gotta pay this off or this isn't. I'm gonna get interest here, or this is gonna happen, or I'm gonna lose this. Living like that is no fun. And I remember a time where I used to live debt free, and that was the most freeing time because I didn't owe anybody anything. Anything that I paid or I got was mine. Obviously, of course, you wanna use credit to build it, you know, you wanna have good credit. But a lot of people spend the credit, don't actually pay it off, or get this loan, or get that loan, and don't pay it off, and they're fucked. I don't want you guys to be like that. So keep that in mind, you know, whenever you get a credit card, however old you are, or if you are already in debt, remember, you know, pay that, pay that off. It's gonna just keep putting you deeper and deeper into a hole. And if you have to, try to find extra ways to make income. You know, I'm not saying be a YouTuber or anything, but try something that you might like, you know? I don't know, artist, you know, draw, paint, you know, sing, dance, whatever. Whatever you like to do, try to find some other ways to make income. I just want you guys to be safe and careful because I know a lot of guys make a lot of mistakes that they can't fix. And it's really sad. It really is. So, you know, take my words with ca caution. Is that the word? Take my words to heart, please. I guess I should throw in a honorable mention. So, social media. Um, I know that social media is pretty big these days. You know, a lot of people go on Instagram to flex or YouTube to flex. And a lot of people feel insecure or they feel like they have to improve themselves to somebody, which my recording stopped. I wasn't even paying attention, but social media has really messed up society and plagued a lot of people's mindsets to where they think they have to, you know, show off and spend all this money and flex on the next person. When in reality, none of that matters. Let me tell you one right now. If you're still in high school or you're a young adult or whoever you are, even if you're, you know, in your 30s, 40s, whatever, you do not have to prove yourself to anybody. Nobody actually really cares about what you're going, got going on with your life. And this really hit me when I was homeless because you know, when you're homeless, you really think, and you, especially if you feel like you've done like nothing wrong, like you've done everything right in life, like you was never a bad person, you didn't steal a rob from people, you know, you were always a good citizen, but you still end up so far down and nobody's there to like help or they don't really care, they just see you and they look past you. It makes you realize that nobody really cares about what I do, even if it's, you know, something bad, something embarrassing. As long as it's not happening to them, they could care less. They'll laugh at it on the internet, but in reality, they're not really there to help. Unless, you know, it's something like this where you grow an audience and they care about you through, you know, what you say and the things that you've done for them. But other than that, if you're a random person, they don't care. Social media, Instagram, YouTube, all of it is fake. I lived in Miami long enough to realize that most of these people that's on the, you know, on social media trying to show off Oh, they're not living it like that, man. It's all just a facade. It's all just to make you feel bad. That's why when I get on the camera, I don't try to make you guys feel bad by, yo, look where I live, look at my apartment downtown. 
I don't do that, bro. I'm just living a normal life. Man. I'm not like doing nothing crazy. Guys, I'm not, the, I'm not doing nothing crazy. I live just like you. I promise you, like I go to work. Sometimes I go out to the park. I might party. I haven't partied in a long time, but if I wanted to, I might go out once or twice a night. You know, I'm living a pretty normal life. So I'm not gonna get on camera to fake it like I'm doing something way better than I am, because I'm not. And you know, I have to admit that a lot of people aren't like me. A lot of people are faking it and want you to feel bad because of their own insecurity. So don't fall for the trap. And I wanna get rid of this common notion that living within your means means you have to live broke or poor. No, you know, you can still enjoy your life. You know, I'm, of course, you know, I have my bad days, but for the most part, I'm pretty happy. You know, I'm living here, chilling. Yes, I'm not, you know, out partying, you know, on yachts and boats and, you know, throwing money and eating, you know, gourmet meals. But, you know, do I need that to be happy? You gotta ask yourself that. Do you need all of that to be happy? If you do, well then good luck because this is gonna be a pretty hard world for you because, you know, to get there is gonna take a lot. Um, hopefully you learn a thing or two. I don't know. I feel like, I feel like I explained myself pretty thoroughly, but maybe not. I don't know. I try my best. You know, I will. Okay, I'm gonna break the third wall. I did write a little list to try to help me out. You know what I'm saying? Um, I don't do this a lot, but I really wanted to try to make sure I give you guys some good advice. But with that being said, guys, thank you for watching. If you did like the video, subscribe, like, comment, uh, and, and, and is that it? Like, comment, subscribe. Yeah, yeah, sorry. That's it. Um, thank you for watching, though. I love you guys so much. Um, hopefully you enjoy it. Love you.